Jessica says, I have a WordPress site and I would like to use Teams webinar for an ongoing Q&A sessions to our customers. How can I have a sign up form directly on my website for each webinar? I tried to use an iframe, but it's not loading quickly or consistently enough. One thing I'm wondering is, you know, because uh, I use WordPress site too, it, it's a link. Does it have to be embedded on the page or can yeah. it be a link that opens in a new window and allows them to register using the Microsoft webinar capability? Um, that would be my biggest question because there's every single meeting has a link for a registration form and the forms aren't overly customizable, um, but they're functional. So. And be I mean, that's, ideas? that's changing. All the new webinar features are, are rolling out. So there's, you know, a bit more that's customizable now compared to the past with some of those changes flowing through. It's yeah, so I, I still don't personally, I don't use the webinars because I, I still have certain things that other tools provide that aren't there yet. And again, does Microsoft have to compete feature for feature or can we, you know, just use the sharpest tool for the job? But, you know, and if that's what, if it's an ongoing webinar, the one thing they have to keep in mind is the Q&A sessions. Those are persistent as well. And anyone else that has participated, unless they turn off their the chat afterward for the external people, um, they're going to get pop-ups and notifications on their screen that there's additional questions being asked and answered. So that might be something to consider how those settings are. Yeah, I'm still not a uh, to go to the other comment about using uh, Teams webinar. I'm still yeah. like we're not using it at all. It's uh, I think Microsoft needs to make a decision whether they're going to they want to actually do webinars or if they're going to kind of. Yeah, half, well, half ask well, the solution having to register for a meeting, having to register for a Teams meeting is not a webinar. It's not the same mm -hmm. having multiple presenters and being able to have different hosts and that is huge and, and you know i know they're that's getting there but for me i don't use webinars because um, a I'll, if i'm going to use that feature where i want people to register i want to be able to limit how many people can register because i want to use can. it for classes this is so that's actually all changing. So it's it's coming okay. down the line. It's coming down the line right now, um, okay. and that's been that's one of the biggest things. So it came out on the nineteenth of um, yeah, the, the announcements are just June, made. Yeah. Yep. July, yeah. So it's just been made. So you'll have the ten co-organisers um, and those capabilities. You'll be able to showcase your speakers. It's got a bio that's coming in with headshot, and you can put LinkedIn profile and social media. You can um, do a branding, so you can do the relevant colour schemes and customise it and banners, for example. And a, a um, uh, you'll have your registration page that's all customised, plus the invitation and the confirmation email that's customised that's coming through. Um, it'll have a registration capacity. It only supports up to a thousand attendees, though. So, um, and you can control and manage who actually has access to that webinar and kind of specify that number and align it to your registration numbers as well. Um, there's a, there's all these expanded kind of questions and a dedicated space for things like your terms and conditions coming through to give consent around the registra registration. Um, there's a whole heap around sort of the attendee and reporting kind of stuff that's coming through as well as that new, you know, Q&A that's coming in as part of a part of webinar. So <clears throat> they're all, it is, it is getting there and it is coming through right now. Um, that does, I mean, compared to some of the other webinar type stuff, look, there are a few things that are still missing, in my opinion. Like video but quality. Certainly, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, you know, we're certainly seeing some of those changes actually coming in, which is great. I it, think the thing to ask about the website, though, is... Is is it a proper like a different type of form that's needed? Is it a is it are they talking about having like a web part where everything's running directly from their side as part of the That's what it sounds that? like they're asking for. That's that's what I got. And and that's not and that's there. not a mic yeah. that's not a Microsoft discussion. That's a right. WordPress or whatever sites you're going to use discussion. So well, yeah. well, I was you, just gonna throw in say, so all, the, all yeah. of the announcements uh, this was in part of the Microsoft Inspire. Uh, announcements. So uh, for July 2022, you go check that out. There's actually sessions on that. I didn't sit through any of those, but
but there were formal announcements made around the yes. expansion of the team's webinar capability. So if you ever, if you've registered, you could go back in. I think I actually put in like that session in my backpack. So I've still not gone yeah. back and watched it. So there yeah. are, there's content out there where they go through in detail, everything yeah. that Kirsty just outlined. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, I um, presented it at the user group uh, at the beginning of the month and had gone right through everything that was going on. So I, I was a little excited and I've been working kind of with the webinar team around a lot of things on that. I love that. And yeah, awesome. um, the the other possible option is to have a Microsoft form on their yes. website mm -hmm. and then power, you know, again, that that exports to an Excel um, spreadsheet. Somehow I'll power, power automate that to connect it to the meeting. I don't know if that's worth the effort, especially since, you know, I want to use my favorite Chandler quote of wait for it. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds like it's coming. So good news. Yeah. 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 I think most most uh, sites just get around that initial problem of, of it's not embedded. And so just provide a link, use a graphic, have the graphic to sign up here, register here, you know, a button or something or other that takes you then to that page. I know that's not what is being asked for here, but, uh, you know, that's that's the immediate answer to go and yeah. provide that. Well, when when the new feature comes out, because it's a registration page, you might actually be able to embed that registration page kind of thing it depends how many webinars you're doing because once that registration page is live you it's not like you wouldn't be able to put it into your own website because it is its own page and then then effectively it's a form anyway with the new look um it's just a matter of you know because it is its own page can it i don't right. know well, if that's like that, the iframe it's the iframe versus having a native app that you know does that so whether microsoft creates a native app that can be dropped into your website yes. and have that information or you yeah. iframe it which you can do to any other html source yeah yeah in theory watch this yeah. space